Hey, what's up guys? Um, so in this video, we're going to learn about how to um, add source maps to both our JavaScript and our um, CSS files. If you're not completely familiar with what source maps are, basically, um, let me try and give you a quick little example. So if you can imagine, we've got um, different CSS files, different SAS files, and I'll show you this um, in a, just a minute. But if we have a whole bunch of different JavaScript files, and we have a whole bunch of different CSS files, when it comes to debugging, if we have an issue going on, if everything's just being compiled into one file, it's going to be really, really hard to locate, okay, where is that problem coming from? So what Source Maps does is this can allow us, even though everything's being compiled down into a single file, into our index.js file, it's going to give hints back to where that code originated from. So if it came from a different module, it's going to know about it. If the CSS came from a separate SCSS file, it's going to know about it. So let me show you how to get that set up and installed. So um, basically, we don't even really need to install anything. We just need to pass Webpack some different configs. So um, again, go back into the repo. Here's a source maps link. This is the... the uh, documentation that I'm referencing. So if we go back to our uh, webpack config right above our modules dev tool inline source map okay so now we can run let's let me make sure this is turned back on uh, Okay, so let's see what that did. Uh, open this file again. Doop, doop, doop. Okay. Um, oh, you know, I wish I had shown you some before I refreshed. So now you can see our files. These functions, even though they're inside of the the complete bundle.js, they're actually coming from this module or whatever I call it, call it module, call it whatever. Um, let's just, let's create another one just so I can make this like super clear. Um, let's just call it hello.js. Uh, let's just export sup. Okay, so now I've just broken these functions out into separate files just to make this like super clear. Okay. So now let's see what these file names are called. Okay, so the hello is coming from hello.js. Hello from sup is coming from module.js. So now if there's an error in our code because everything is being compiled, you can see we're only pulling in this bundle.js file. But these functions are being um, are created in separate files. So if this is all just in one bundle.js, our error would just be like online some crazy number, and it would mean absolutely nothing to us, and we'd have no idea where it's actually coming from. But now it's actually referencing the exact specific file that all of this is coming from. So we can do the same thing too with our, our styles. So let's go back to our webpack config. And I'm just going to do this for SCSS. Um, let's do, instead of this array like this, we're just going to do, we're going to use an, uh, I'm sorry, we're going to array of objects. So the loader, CSS loader, we're going to put options. Options, options takes an object, source map, true. 
duplicate this a couple of times. So doing the same thing, but see now we're saying, oh, by the way, turn on source maps. So post CSS and SAS. And let's create um, Let's say we've got a, no, not a folder, I wanted a file, sorry. Typography.scss. Okay, so now within our main, let's take this out, put this in here, and let's import. I don't even think you need the file extension, but let's just try it. I don't think it likes that. Oh, at import, my bad. I keep forgetting. I confuse the SCSS index with the ES6 stuff. Okay. Working. So you know what I just realized guys, I forgot that we're extracting our CSS into a separate file and I'm wondering why this isn't working and that's because our CSS is no longer in our JavaScript so we need to reference that in our HTML file. So let's do this. Um, okay, now this should work. Okay, so now you can see um, everything's working as expected and we have our source maps. If you look into our styles.css file, now we've got source mapping data. So now this is gonna let us know if we have an error where this is all coming from. So we've successfully set up source maps for our JavaScript and for our SCSS files. And so now anytime we have an issue, we know exactly where to go in order to fix it.